Hello, YouTube family. It's Brother Tony. And um, I wanted to come to you today with a message of encouragement and a message of hope. But this message will be hard for some of you to understand. And it will be hard for some of you to swallow. Um, I've sought the Lord in this video, or for this video, all day. Um, he's been leading me to make this video. And I prayed about it, so I'm just going to make it. And um, I was going to disable comments for this video because this video is going to be very controversial. I want you to know right now. It's not going to be pleasant for some of you to hear. It's going to arouse a lot of feelings in a lot of people. A lot of people are going to be upset. Some will be angry. Some will be frustrated. Some will unsubscribe from me. But I want you to know I'm giving you this message in love. In love of the Christ, Jesus, our Savior. Because it, it is apparent to me that this message needs to be made. It is a rapture message um, before I start I don't want to rain on anybody's parade um, I don't want to douse your spiritual fire but we have to remember the truth and the truth shall set you free the truth is the Bible the living breathing spoken word of God so, um, let's start off with the scripture. No, let's start off with, I love you guys. That's why I'm telling you this message. And um, don't, I, I pray that you listen to the message all the way to the end. That you don't turn off and, and thumb down this message when you hear something you don't like. Please listen to it to the very end. I'm going to try to make this thing 10 minutes or less. And, and I believe in the end it'll be a blessing to you. Now, leave comments. If they're just plain spiteful and hateful, I, I'm going to delete them. But I think I'm going to leave comments open so we can have discussion. Vigorous discussion in love and respect for one another. Okay, that's why I always allow comments in my videos. Uh, because I, there are other people out there that don't allow comments for their videos. And it's just, okay... I'm, they're like, I'm putting out a video and accept it and you're not going to be able to say anything about it. That's kind of frustrating, you know. Uh, I, I find a lot of my comfort and wisdom comes from other people's comments, so I'll leave them open. But let's start with Scripture. Always Scripture. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 to 5. And this will lead into my message today. Paul is saying this, I charge you therefore before God... And the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Did you catch that? Be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, extort with all long suffering and teaching. Now this is the this is the part. This is the money. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But you... Be watchful in all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. Praise God. Uh, I'm making this video for this very reason this verse is talking about. These verses are talking about here. Verse 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers 
and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be, a turn, and be turned aside to fables. Does that sound like the majority of YouTube right now? And I find myself doing this sometimes too, and, and I prayed against it. I'm trying not to do it. Running to teachers that tell me what I want to hear. Whether or not it's the truth, whether or not it's just something that they believe that they received in a dream or a vision, you know. Regardless of whether it's scripturally true to the word, people find themselves going on YouTube channels that 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 person tells them what they want to hear. Well, the rapture's going to be happening this week. The rapture's going to happen next week. I received a dream or a vision, and the rapture has to happen within the next three weeks. I received a dream or a vision, and the rapture has to happen before the 4th of July this year. Blah, 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 blah. Of course, we are to wait and watch for the rapture, the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, his amazing return. We are to watch every day. And I watch every day. Be careful who you listen to. Use discernment. Don't let the devil steal your joy from you. Okay, now here we get to it. Buckle your seatbelts. Strap in because it's happening right now. Listen to the end of this message. When will the rapture happen? Gosh, you've got hundreds if not thousands of people on YouTube right now telling you when it's going to happen. When is it going to happen? That's that's all people go on YouTube for. Some people, you know, for a word from my favorite teacher. Did they get a new dream or a new vision? When's the rapture going to happen? The Lord tells us that he is coming soon. Now, what is soon? We have to remember, soon to the Lord is not our soon. Okay? The Bible tells us that one day with the Lord is like a thousand years down here on earth. So people have been saying, Lord, Lord, when are you coming? When is the rapture going to happen? It's been forever. Well, actually, according to God's time and time in heaven, it's only been two days since Jesus died for us and went back to heaven. It's only been two days. It's not even a week. I mean, give the Lord some time. Be patient and long-suffering. Like verse 2 tells us, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, extort with all long-suffering and teaching patience. We must have patience, grasshopper. Okay? Now, I want him to come back too, just as much as you do. Good Lord. You know, the saints are were persecuted down here. It's tough. We want to go home. But the Lord has work to do through us. We have to get out there and do his work for him. We are his eyes, his ears, his mouth, his hands and feet down here. So let's get out there and make disciples of men. And remember, to God, only two days have gone by. Okay, so God's soon is not our soon. The Lord is coming soon. But when? When? Okay, I have some revelation on this. I'm not date setting. I'm not going to try to get your hopes up. I'm telling you scripturally what the Bible tells us. According to the word. The word. When is the rapture going to happen? Here it is. The Bible, the Bible gives us very little information on the rapture. That's, I believe, so we'll always keep watching. It doesn't give us any dates. It doesn't tell us when it's actually really going to happen. Now it tells us, of course... There'll be wars and rumors of wars, famines, pestilences, earthquakes, you know, in diverse places. There'll be signs in the heaven. I know all those scriptures. Those things have been happening for the last 2,000 years. 
So when's the rapture going to happen? We must look at scripture. Let's turn to Matthew chapter 24, verse 34 to 35. It gives us our starting point when we can start watching. Truly, I say to you, this generation will not pass until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Okay, so we know that the rapture has to happen. According to this verse, I say to you, this generation will not pass until all these things take place. Now, what is, uh, what is, what is, what is going on here? We have to go to when Israel, it's all about Israel. You got to remember, even though they denied Christ as their savior, they're still his chosen people. As we know, May 14th, 1948, Israel was made a state again. Boom. That's when the clock started ticking again. For 2,000 years, we were on pause like a remote control. Most, most, if not all, biblical scholars will tell you that's the date that the clock started again. In the, in the book of Daniel, 62 weeks went by. Pause. Huge pause for 2,000 years. We've got seven more years to go. Right? When did the clock start again? May 14th, 1948, when Israel became a state again. Now, we also have to go to Scripture and find out what is a generation. We'll find that in Psalms chapter 90, verse 10. How long is a generation? Quote, unquote, generation. For the days of our life, they contain 70 years. Or... If due to strength, 80 years, yet their pride is but labor and sorrow. For soon it is gone, and we fly away. So we know that a generation is anywhere between 70 and 80 years, right? We know this, biblical, scriptural, and we know our starting point, May 14th, 1948. So if you take 70 years from May 14th, 1948, forward, it puts us in 2018. And you're saying, wow, the rapture has to happen before 2018, right? Wrong. You have to take away seven years for the great tribulation. So if you jumped up to 2018, which would be 70 years, minus seven years, that's 2011. The, rap the rapture would have had to have happened and the great tribulation had to have started by May 14th, 2011. Well, that didn't happen. So we jump back up on Psalm chapter 90, verse 10. For the days of our life, they contain 70 years, or if due to strength, 80 years. You go from May 14th, 1948, you add 80 years on top of that, it brings us to May 14th, 2028. But we have to minus seven years away from that because of the Great Tribulation which takes us to the money date, May 14th, 2021. Now, that is the latest it has to happen. We can, we can deduce from Scripture, guaranteed the rapture of the church has to happen by that date, and the Great Tribulation has to start by that date, May 14th, 2021. Now, let me make this very clear. You do not have until May 14th, 2021 to go out there and mess around and get back into the world and screw up. It could happen today. It could happen tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. It could happen before I finish this video. But make no mistake about it. It will happen. The Great Tribulation will start and the rapture of the church will happen before May 14th, 2021. That's five years and four months from now. Now, like I said, I'm not saying you got that much time to get right with the Lord. I truly believe we're in the season. We are in the season. But the rapture could happen, and I repeat, listen very close. 
The rapture could happen any microsecond between right now and May 14th, 2021. According to scripture, it must happen. For this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. It all has to go down before May 14th, 2028. The church is gone before that, seven years before that, the Great Tribulation. We are not meant to, meant to incur God's wrath. We will not be here for that. So you have to take away seven years from May 14th, 2028, which takes us to May 14th, 2021. Now, the Lord could come and get us right at the very end. May, May 13th, 2021. You know, 10 seconds before the stroke of midnight. The Bible is very elusive and it gives us very few dates, but it does tell us. And it's all about Israel. Remember that, okay? The tribulation is not meant for us. It's meant for the Jews to bring them back into the fold. God's children will not be here for that. We will be raptured. The way things are looking, we probably won't make it to May 14th, 2021. You know, with, with, with Syria and the wars in the Middle East and ISIS, who are straight from the pits of hell, by the way, um, it doesn't look, and, and stock markets are falling, the snow, earthquakes, everything that's going on, it doesn't look like we're going to make it to two, uh, May, 20, May 14th, 2021. But our time is not God's time. So, get your life right with the Lord today. You may not have tomorrow. You may die tomorrow in a car crash. You may get cancer and die a year, two months, 13 days, and seven hours from now. Okay? Get right with the Lord now. You don't have a lot of time left. Praise the Lord. Okay? Leave comments. Be nice. Remember, everything I'm saying is backed up by Scripture. Uh, if you think I'm interpreting it wrong, uh, please leave comments. But like I said, we are giving very we are given very few dates in the Bible, and the time clock started again, May 14th, 1948, when Israel became a state again. The Bible tells us this generation will not pass until all these things happen. The generation is anywhere from 70 to 80 years. We know it can't be 70 because we know we're not in the tribulation yet. So it has to be 80. That t takes us out to 2028. I pray this lesson has been a blessing to you. It's not meant to be discouraging to you. There are lots of people on YouTube telling you that the rapture is going to happen uh, anytime. And amen. It could very well happen anytime. Praise God. Um, but, you know, Ever since, even before the four blood moons happened, for the past four or five years, I've been hearing people say, uh, the rapture of the church is going to happen this week. It's got to happen this month. It's got to happen this year. I've had dreams and visions about it. It's got to happen this year. No, it doesn't. Don't presume to speak for God. Okay? Because you don't know. No one knows the day of the hour. Not the angels in heaven. Nobody on earth. Not even the Son, Jesus Christ. Nobody knows. Okay? So, God bless you. I love you guys. I'm giving you this message in love. But I don't want you to fall into frustration, anger, bitterness, uh, the way I kind of have lately the past couple of years because I've been, I've been listening to people. I've had itchy ears going to my favorite teachers telling me the rapture is going to happen on this Feast of Trumpets. It's got to happen before the four blood moons are over. It's got to happen on this. Those dates come and go, and you're left with frustration. Don't do that anymore to yourself. I'm not going to do that. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Take comfort, faith, and take joy in the fact that the Lord is coming soon. And you know we don't have a lot of time left. We seriously don't. Five years and four months at the latest. But I don't think it's going to take that long. I really don't. But I don't know when. But um, another key to watch is Syria. The Bible tells us uh, when Damascus ceases to be a city, the end is here. 
you know. So let me, uh, just for your reference, let me find out that Bible passage for you so you can reference that. Damascus falls when Damascus ceases to be a city. Isaiah 17, the destruction of Damascus. Read that. It's all about the rapture. Um, it's the oldest continuously inhabited city on the planet. The Bible tells us when uh, Damascus ceases to be a city, we're at the end. And ISIS, as you know, is trying to take over Damascus right now. So, watch Damascus. Watch Israel. Pray continuously every day that the Lord gives you his peace, his mercy and grace and love. And uh, Jesus is coming soon. God bless you. I love you. And uh, be nice in the comments. Let's play nice, children. God bless you.